What's going on, everyone? It's me, ya giddly goodly giddly darnly aunt. What just came out of my mouth? Alex the Rambler. And today I'm going to be taking a look into just when I should have been born. Now, I'm sure we've all thought about it. Wouldn't it be cool if I was born in the Roman era? Well, no, probably not. It might have been a horrible, horrible, horrible thing to have actually lived and, and, and been born back then. Like, the chances of surviving childbirth, at least half of you probably wouldn't be around today, you know? Sorry, I'm just, um, I'm just steeping my tea. I've gone for the classic Earl Grey today. Hey! Oh, you smell that? That's Empire. So if you're, if you're not aware, I actually used to do Anglo-Saxon reenactment. I was actually on a TV show called Blue Peter. <laughs> you, you, none of, uh, no one that isn't in the UK would have heard of that. But, you know, Anglo-Saxon reenactment was a heck of a lot of fun. But you got to fight in a lot of battles. And, and I once got, I once got like, mm, speared right in my privates. So I'm going to do a couple of quizzes today just to see where I actually should have been born. I would quite like to be in the Roman or the Anglo-Saxon period. Again, it probably would be quite horrific if we, if, if, you, if you take someone from 2019 and stick them in that period. We'd all be screwed. So if you'd like to see more quizzes like this, let's get this video to 4,000 likes. Engagement really helps out the channel. If I don't get engagement, YouTube doesn't push my videos out to as many people and then, and then, and then the channel goes away. That's the long and short of it. Don't forget to subscribe, but that's more for my ego than anything. ASMR. ASMR Rambler. You love it. You love it. Oh my giddly goo. My videos are getting weirder and weirder, aren't they? <laughs> Jeez. Alrighty Rooney, so here we go. What era should I have been, been in quiz? Let's start with BuzzFeed below. Let's just see what decade I should have been born in. Pick a colour. Wow, BuzzFeed. This seems like it's going to be a classic quiz and it took... It took two people to make. Really? Okay, well I'm going to go with green. That's my favourite colour. Pick a slang term. Oh, God. What is this? Where's ya boy? Muck snipe. Whatever the heck that is. What the frick? What's the best cartoon show? Oh, now this is going to divide opinion, isn't it? I have, I've never seen, I've never seen Lloyd in space. I have no idea what that is. I've never seen Thundercats. I, 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 I I've seen some of Scooby-Doo. Do you know what? Let's go for Spongebob. Pick a power clique. What is this? Paramount, Paramount, New World or Paramount? New World then. How do you take pics? Oh. What? What? Do you know what? Um, yes. That one. Ding, ding, ding. Pick a movie. Oh my. Oh, well there are some classics here. Except I haven't seen the majority of them. Um, I'm going to go with Back to the Future. That's a, that's a classic. That's a classic. You're running late for work. What do you do? Um, well, I am my own boss, so it will be okay. Plus, I actually have very good time management skills. Ask anyone, especially my former employers. They'll tell you I turned up. I turned up on time. I mean, I left early too, but don't tell them that. <laughs> uh, what can they do? It was two years ago. Jesus, I really hope none of them actually watch this. Uh, to my former employers, that was a joke. I am always ready to be rehired in case this YouTube thing goes down the pan. What's your favourite fashion accessory? I'm going to have to go for the wig, aren't I? Cue the hairline jokes. If there's enough of them, Rambler's Comment Corner might make a reappearance. Wouldn't that be great? What would you do if I won the lottery? Oh. <laughs> Renovate your house. I'm a millennial. I don't own a house. Where's travel the world? Where's trap? Okay, I'm just going to invest in some internet stocks. Buy Bitcoin. If I could go back in time to like 2009, I would definitely buy Bitcoin. What's your vice? Um, okay, well, I, I'm not really sure what that bit is. Is that just tip watching TV? Is that... Hmm. Right, let's just go with a little drinky every now and then. I belong somewhere in the classical and romantic era. Okay, well, shall we do a, shall we do a one by Magic Quiz? This has got to be better than BuzzFeed. We'll tell you the perfect era for you based on your personality. 
each time period in history is filled with unique and interesting qualities. Indeed. Maybe you've always pictured yourself in ancient Greece, standing in all your glory in front of the Parthenon and witnessing the vast power of the Spartan army. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have pictured doing that, but let's be honest. If you were taken out of your bedroom or, or living room and stuck into a hoplite wall, you would completely empty your bowels. There's no doubt about it. If you think, oh, I'm going to be, I'm going to be a hard guy. Yeah, all right. Okay, there's a yard sale going on in your neighbourhood. What do you buy? I would like to buy a pocket watch. It's time for a midnight s snack and you're starving. What looks tastiest? Oh, do you know what? A rich pastry. You need a new outfit. Oh, it's my birthday. What do I get as a present? Money. Which friendly animal would you like to meet on your travels? I would like to meet that cute dog. I also like cats. It's a tough, it's a tough one, but I'm gonna go for the doggo. What's your idea of a perfect day? I hear you say. Well, ooh, dark and stormy. No, no, no. I actually like walking. Windy and cool. The perfect weather for a long walk. Continue the quiz. Oh, let's go. Oh no, your phone died and you don't have a charger. Oh well, I don't need it anyway. I, I try not to rely on my phone too much. I think that people of our generation, and a lot of you I imagine are younger than I am, are even more addicted to your phones than, than, than millennials. So, put your phone down for an hour or two and just leave it. Don't check it. I don't actually know where my phone... Oh, it's over here. See? Let's see if anyone has been trying to get in contact with me. No. What is your vice? Hmm. Okay, whoever answers that is a liar. I don't have any vices. Pfft. Um, alcohol. I'm cutting down though. I am I'm being healthier. Oh my god, you just won the lottery. This just seems like BuzzFeed's quiz now. Oh, for god's sake. Why can't we find a proper historical? Buy the newest technology. Pick a house. Ooh. 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 A grand mansion. What's the most essential item? Matches. I'm being practical. A comb? Pfft. I don't need one of those. You just got off your flight and learned your luggage didn't make it. What do you do? Um, find out what's going on before reacting. Like, what, what are these? some of these questions? How would you rate this quiz? Not great. Show me my results, please. 1920s New York. Fun-loving and adventurous. You're a total dreamer. Glittery, fresh, and full of life. This quiz doesn't get me. Shall we do an ancient civilization one? Like, why is it so far? Why, why is this so hard to find a decent freaking quiz? All right, I think this might be a better one. What period in history do you belong in? We'll read more. A period in history is a time frame in which significant world events occurred. It could be the Han Dynasty in China, the ancient Roman Empire, the Elizabethan period, or the Viking Age. Who knows? Let's let's start this quiz. Mm, how would you describe yourself? Adventurous. What's most important to you? Happiness. Which of these quotes resonate with you? It's better to be a lion for a day than a sheep all your life. Don't cry because it's over. It's better to be hated for what you are than to be loved for what you are not. That's deep. That's deep. Do you know what? I'll meet Albert Einstein. What do I do in my free time? I travel. I also read books. I do, I do all of these apart from meditate. I'm going to go travel. If you could go to college college to study one thing, what would it be? Uh, information technology. I would like to go to Rome. I've already been to Barcelona and it was alright. Dubai would be too hot for me. Uh, let's go for Mykonos. Which of these dead languages would you love to learn? Latin. But if I've got to pick one, let's go for ancient Greek. I have a feeling I might be put in ancient Greece. Uh, 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 uh. The problem with people today is that they have too many options. Who needs a hundred different types of pizza? We all know that Hawaiian is, is the only one you need. And people are not respectful of each other. Well, based on the amount of abusive comments I've, I've, I've received over the years, I'm going to say, kind of. Uh, I would say the vast majority of people are respectful of each other, but you get a lot of idiots. A lot of idiots. I'm, I'm trying very hard to stay family friendly. So let's go with they politicise anything. 
health insurance, I guess. Yeah. What would I do if I won the lottery? I would I would travel the world, but I can't do that apparently, so I would buy it. I would invest it. Actually, yeah, you invest it, because then if you think about it, the money if you invest, you know, the vast majority, if, if you win the lottery, you invest most of it, okay? Then you just take out you just you just spend what you're getting in interest, and then you always have loads of money. So boom. None of these are on my top ten list, but I would go for Troy. Uh, which of these museums would you love to go on the day off? <laughs> which of these items do I want for my birthday? I just want to be happy. I don't need a lot of things. I'm quite a minimalist person. Uh, like, if you... I, I don't own a lot of things. Wait. Wait, you can give yourselves hints. You could get this if you pick. Brilliant. Oh. Oh, no! No! Oh. Kindness in ancient Rome. Press X to doubt. Go for a sense of humour. I would say I'm. I have a casual style. Which of these retro patterns? Definitely plaid. I would like a modern flat. If you could paint the entire thing, wouldn't it be green? I would definitely take my girlfriend on a time travelling trip, seeing as she has a like a, a historical background. It would be a miss of me. If I didn't pick T being British, wouldn't it? So, for the sake of my Britishness, I will select T, but it'd probably be water. A mix of photos? What kind of food do I like to eat? All of them. I'll go for Greek. I got the Mayan period? What? The period of time that you should leave your mark on is the Mayan period. You're ambitious, adventurous, and creative. You're also a very respectful person and who is hopeful of the future, while at the same time paying respect to the people who have come before you as well as their values and traditions. I think these quizzes are stupid. <laughs> Let me go to Rome. I want to become a consul. <laughs> but if you happen to do any of these quizzes, do let me know what your results were. I, I am shocked that I didn't get where I thought I'd go, honestly. There we have it. A, li a nice little quiz video for you. Remember, 4,000 4, 4, likes if you want more. Um, that's it. That's the video. Did, did you enjoy it? Toodaloo. Many thanks to Onion Duck, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Ryan Koch, Cody Freeze, uh, a second Wyatt Green, Name Name 1231, Aiden, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, Sean Young, Lo and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous round supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too. I swear one, 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 one month I'll get this without making a mistake. <laughs>